Hey guys, Wade Simmons here with another pick apart. I got Celeste RF Race Face Rider, and we're doing something different, aren't we? Yeah, we're going bike packing. We're going bike packing. So Celeste is a multi-sport athlete, skiing, biking. What else do you do? Pretty much just that. Skiing and biking. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, why would you want to do more? <laughs> yeah. With the pick aparts, you know, we're kind of usually doing skills and trails, but we're doing something different. It's fall here. And we're like, let's get out for some bike packing because Celeste does a lot of uh, ski touring and bike packing. And we we're just kind of kicking around ideas and we uh, thought, well, hey, let's go, let's go free ride bike packing. Yeah, bike not, packing. I've been bike packing too much. I've done it. <laughs> but for me, it's not about like, where am I going in distance? I want to just get up to the Alpine yeah. and do some free ride and check stuff out. Yeah. We're here, uh, we're going into Trapper Lake, which is a cool zone between Cathedral Park and Manning Park, uh, Southern BC. And we did a little research, of course. You want to do that before you go bikepacking. Yep. You know how much food to bring and gear and stuff like that. <laughs> I aired, you look at you look at Celeste, she's a little on the light side. I thought I was packing too much. And then Wade shows up with a duffel right. bag because the entrance well, is, we don't have that far to go to get to camp. So. 6K in, yeah. 200 meter climb, so it's not epic. Yeah. So I brought some camp treats, you know, like Cholula hot sauce. Like in the glass bottle. In the glass bottle. Wow. Yeah. For some other for stuff that, go, that Chula goes on, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like eggs and bacon. We're going to eat well. Yeah. Excited. And ride well. Yeah. You know, we're kind of in going to a zone that you don't know too well. And then, you know, this is wilderness out here. I got a friend of mine to guide us, Johnny Smoke. Sick. Yeah, I've done trips with Johnny in the years past. Yeah. And uh, he knows this area really well. He lives in Peachland. And yeah. Heard this, of him. This is, his, uh, this is his backyard. So uh, Johnny's going to join us. He's always good for a laugh. Sweet. Talking about like what to choose for a bike, you know, I would think that durability is crucial here. You know, and I, as I say, I'm not like a long distance guy. I kind of like to get in and, and kind of explore around adventure. That's, yeah. that's the that's the key to my kind of bike packing, like get into a new zone and adventure. Like, base camp. Base camp, mm -hmm. base camp. That's why I got the big bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also with bike packing, I feel like a lot of people automatically assume you're supposed to have like the fanciest, lightest carbon bike possible. But you're here with a Slayer, I'm here with a Druid. These are not like conventionally light bikes. No. And I think they're perfect for the job, yeah. especially if you're only going out for a couple of days and you still want to have fun and have the down be a good time. Well, I like skiing. I like to be have I like to be a bit over ski or over bike because mm -hmm. you never know when you get to that good zone, mm -hmm. you're gonna be like, ah, I wish I had more bike. Yeah, yeah. but there's a difference. There's the people who want to go traversing as well, and that's where like a lighter bike definitely makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely. I guess it's what, what it's whatever your the end product is you're doing, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I hope I hope that we find some good downhill. Yeah. You know, That'd be nothing better than high alpine yeah. blasting through the, yeah, the terrain. I was gonna say too about bike stuff. Mm -hmm. I always go uh, like aluminum, like aluminum bars, like durable stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Takes a beating. I'm out here with a carbon bar, but oh. again, it's because we're not going on like the longest of trips. But it does make sense if you're trying to have a bar bag to bring an aluminum bar, so you don't get any right. rub on the carbon yeah, there. Through. And again, like choosing to have stuff on the bike i think it depends on how long you're going out for what kind of riding you're doing sometimes i like to have a little frame bag with some snacks yeah. snacks are important snacks are important
been doing. That's free riding right there. Yeah. You know? Like a little free ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was steep. Get Definitely some, some spots some. where I couldn't like slow down a bit. That's the, the thing. Same. You can't panic, right? You just gotta, you know, you're a skier. Gotta ride it out. You gotta ride it out. You look for your exits, you know? You're like, oh my God, I gotta get off the brakes. Kind of counterintuitive mountain biking that way. Because you, everyone gets scared, they hit the brakes, but you actually like want to get off the brakes and get out of trouble. You know why I love getting out in places like this? Why? Because, you know, when we're coming up, we kind of looked at this, we're like, hey, is it rideable? Yeah. And it's the unknown, it's kind of fun, right? I like to look at the colors too, when I'm looking at something that might be rideable versus something not. Like this color, for some reason, I was like, that looks like it might be better than oh, yeah. those well, over there. It's, you know, you, can, you know what beach sand looks like. Yeah. And dirt. You, know, yeah. you look over there, that's chunky rock. Yeah. But you can tell here, there's two sketchy places going into shoots like this, the start and the end. Because yes. all the rocks come down, right? So you see all the, the, the chunky rocks at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you got to be like mindful of that when you go into shoots. You're like, because the exit's always going to be a bit rough. That's always my biggest fear is the exit. Kind of like skiing, again. Just like skiing. Avalanche shoot, yeah. you know, all the debris yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. But you were you were laying down some really nice turns, and I feel like that's something I definitely need to... Well, I did, to work up, on, I did grow up in cam loops. That's this. true. You got any S tips on how to make nice turns? Weight back okay. off the front, okay. you know? Yeah. And then you kind of just like be light. It's like skiing, kind of like pressure, pressure, de-weight, pressure. Yeah. That's what's so fun about getting out is just, you know, like what's what's out there. Totally. I mean, it feels like backcountry skiing. You're kind of figuring it out for yourself and nice being away from everything. Let's go hit some more lines. What yeah. do you think? Okay. Yeah, let's go do it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Free ride. Wade just like back up there. He's like, oh, check this out. I had no idea what he was talking about. He was like, oh, there's a lift here. It looks what? fucking awesome. the old alpine, eh? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here, that was a cool move that you did. I landed on a rock. fun factor totally you know, it's not, for me it's not about distance yeah or it's about like finding a fun area you know like we're walking our bike because you can't ride like it's a little bit of walking you know yeah it's kind of an adventure yeah. you know some people like you know bike packing people might think they you know it's like this is bike packing but it's whatever you want to be just getting out into a zone yeah like this well you see a lot of people that are like all about the traversey type of bike packing and then there's people that just do the day trips but there's like that happy medium where you're like earning your turns you know i think the bottom line is just getting out into the, the alpine yeah you know it's like it's like ski touring exactly root like ski touring. i like i like root finding you know finding the cool zones to ride the adventure of it celeste yeah just getting out on the bike yeah on the bike the unknown zones it's a special time when you can get into these places Bike talk about bike packing. You're always talking about cooking and stuff. Look at this. How loud is this?
never done anything like that on a bike before. On skis for sure, but on a bike, that's like... Well, it's rare. So cool. It's the best. A it's, natural uh, quarter pipe. That's why we do this, yeah. right? Yeah, it's like no trail, a quarter pipe, yeah. smooth, booters everywhere. Booters everywhere. It doesn't get better than that. It's fun following the, the you. natural line. Yeah, a little. Well, probably just, I read ahead, right? I'm always scanning ahead, mm -hmm. looking for rocks or doubles or... It's like skiing, right? Yeah, awesome. Just letting, letting momentum go. You know what's funny on this stuff? You know, because it's kind of holy and bumpy. The faster you go, the smoother it gets, right? So you kind of get up to that speed or you're like, rah, rah, rah. Oh, well, that's what we came here for. It's what we came here for. Just this gully. So <laughs> let's climb 2,000 meters back to town. It's goddamn windy up there, wasn't it? It was really windy up there. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. No. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Made it back to camp. <laughs> there we are. Made it. Yeah, it's a like day. Good day yeah, it was good. A I mean, couple we, little summits. We didn't do a lot of the climbers, but got a couple summits. Got a couple downs. That's pre ride. That's what we thought. Pre ride. Pre ride backpack. It's new thing. Pre ride backpack. We're just starting. We're starting a new sport. New sport. <laughs> new sport. Okay. I think she's going. Hey. Yeah, this is nice. I was a little, uh, little questionable at first, but she's going yeah. now. It's nice to have a fire after it. Warm up. After a windy ride like that. <clears throat> yeah, what's for dinner? What'd you bring? Usually I bring dry dinner, like dry food, so snacks or whatever, but they can be expensive. So if I'm like feeling cheaper, I'll bring Annie's. Or like, Annie's? Yeah, or like mac nice. and cheese. So that's pretty light. Yeah. So it right. really depends on where, where I'm at, <laughs> what I'm feeling. I got some uh, dehydrated stuff tonight. Pretty stoked. I'm on the mushroom risotto. Ooh. Mm. Not my favorite. Oh, because oh, you don't like mushrooms. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> I, won't, I won't be sampling that with you. <laughs> you probably pack one much later than I do. I usually pack too much. That's okay. Or like this trip is just two days, so. Yeah. I mean, so. I was munching on your snacks all day, so. Now, well, diabetic, oh, I have know. to bring the snacks. You know? <laughs> I have to carry a lot of sugar to keep the blood sugar up. Yeah. Always good for snacks. Yeah, I'd say usually like longer trips, I'll pack light and I'll be pretty dialed yeah and my backpack looks like a tetris game and everything's pretty well, sorted yeah. but and i'll stick to the dehydrated meals for breakfast and dinner and, and maybe even lunch depending how long you're out there for but i mean for this trip it felt nice to because we were just a base camp not so far away from yeah the, the base park. camp this camp's nice you know? yeah set up the cozy yeah i mean you're saving quarters and i brought lots of food too much food. <laughs> but you're kind of Park closed and it's like what five or six k into here? It wasn't too, like, too bad. It was only, yeah, it was like five and a half k to get yeah. here. It's pretty chill. It's so sick, like the kind of access you can get from being so close to the truck like that. I know. That was pretty cool. It's worth it. Yeah, we live in a sweet place. It's where we are. I know. How beautiful is this? I'm stoked that you came out on this. You know. Yeah. Kinda, thanks for having me. Because you're quite experienced in the bike <laughs> in the bike packing, right? Yeah. I brought too much crap, and now I I see what you brought. It's a bit of a of an eye opener <laughs> but i want to get out and do this more you know yeah. with my family and should i mean kids out and my wife yeah it's nice that it's accessible for for most people so. oh so good yeah families included but yeah thanks for having me this is like and then, so uh, fun backpacking doesn't have to be like big long distance it can be like just partner around you know partner around camping with bikes yeah. and riding some bikes we'll definitely come back in the zone <laughs>